A very good day to you. I'm Hank Gross, MidHudsonNews.com. It's Wednesday, November 3rd. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run. Dutchess County Controller Robin Lois, a Democrat, was re-elected last night, while Republican Family Court Judge Denise Watson claimed a victory in a close race. Lois defeated political newcomer Ola Neshawat Hawetma by 1,546 votes out of more than 59,000 cast in the race. I want to continue on um, con- continuing to provide the transparency and accountability that I've uh, brought to the office over the last four years, and there's a lot more to do, and I'm um, looking forward to it. Family Court Judge Denise Watson survived a contentious battle against Democrat Rachel Saunders. County Legislature Chairman Greg Pulver was celebrating the addition of two Republicans to the legislature. By a 3-1 to margin, Port Jervis Mayor Kelly Decker won a fifth two-year term. Running on the Democratic and conservative lines, he defeated Barbara Marzalek, who ran on the PJP local party line. Decker looks forward to working with the Republican majority on the city council as they address some key issues. There's some projects that uh, I'd like to see to fruition, including our um, annexation, uh, the expansion of our watershed, and um, and some small items like the development of Riverside, as well as um, um, some handicap accessibility down to Tri-State Rock and uh, West End Beach improvements. Decker said most of the major projects facing the city have been addressed and resolved already. Deputy Orange County Clerk Kelly Eskew will need a new nameplate for her desk in January. The Republican Eskew defeated Democrat Anthony Grice in Tuesday's race for county clerk. She has plans to improve the service of the clerk's office. They want to bring the DMV back to all parts of the county, so that's our number one goal. And that's January 1st. We're going to start work. Well, we're actually starting now. I'm getting prices on some mobile units, and it passed in the budget, so I have the money there. So January 1st, we're hopefully, it won't be ready to go January 1st, but we're going to be moving on it. Esku will be succeeding County Clerk Annie Rabbit, who's retiring from the job at the end of the year. More news right after this. Find over 100 retailers allowing you to spend hours shopping safely at the Galleria at Crystal Run. Enjoy the big brands and the diverse selection of family-owned stores all in one location. The Galleria at Crystal Run offers dining options for everyone with Fuji 110 Grill, Allen's Mediterranean Grill, and Peru Cuisine. Discover the Mid-Hudson Valley's premier shopping, dining, and entertainment destination the Galleria at Crystal Run. For more information, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or visit GalleriaCrystalRun.com. The race for the 14th legislative district seat in Orange County Legislature will be headed for a recount, an absentee ballot tally, as nine votes separate the two candidates. Incumbent Democrat Lori Turtell garnered 926 votes to Republican challenger Jennifer Gargillo's 935. In the District 9 race, incumbent Republican Stephen Brescia defeated Democratic challenger Fran Fox Pizzonia. There was some doubt as to if Brescia would win re-election, given the controversy he stirred when he made an inappropriate comment to a female county employee, putting him in the hot seat leading to his stepping down as chairman of the legislature. Frank Dandento III lost his bid for a second two-year term as Wallkill Town Supervisor to newcomer George Serrano. Dandento, who consistently claimed the town's finances were a mess, created major controversy when he went off the rails during a meeting by calling town controller Tony Tracy an extremely vulgar term. That meeting was recorded. The following week, he attempted to explain his language away by cursing repeatedly and saying that's just the way he talks. As a result of his language and the less than professional demeanor, a majority of the town board members voted to censure him late last month. Stay updated with local news all day online at MidHudsonNews.com. I'm Hank Gross. The news today brought to you by the Galleria at Crystal Run.